Hey everybody, Brooklyn in the house, back at you to do a read for the sign of Cancer. So Cancer, of course, watcher, please only claim this reading in a helpful, positive manner or not at all. Now let's hit this. Clearing grounds for Cancer, please. Thank you. As above, so below. There is no beginning, there is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the higher good of our collective of cancer. Cancer, energy is always fluid. I could be speaking about you or somebody in your energetic field. Show me the energy. Let's see who and how we're going to help somebody out there today, yeah? Yeah, we're going to start with sexual magic first, Cancer. Sexual magic for Cancer, please and thank you. Sexual magic for Cancer, please and thank you, ancestors. All right. So we have, oh, forgiveness. Okay, so um, somebody could be 23 out there. The fifth could be of significance or the month of May. Somebody could also be 32. This is Pisces energy. Somebody needs some kind of forgiveness somewhere, somehow, for something. <laughs> okay. Just forgive and move on. I mean, unless it was something so horrific, you know. Okay, fulfillment. Now, somebody might need forgiveness for going out to seek some fulfillment on the side. Or, you know, somebody is, for others of you, really fulfilled in a relationship that they're in. It could go either way, right? Somebody could be 53 years old here. This reduces to 8. So the 8th could be of significance or perhaps the month of August. Somebody might also be 35 here. Show me. Please and thank you. Cancer. Cancer. Give me one more for cancer. Please and thank you. One more for cancer. Let's go. Thank you. Oh, you're going to get two more. Somebody could be leaving here, okay? And somebody, somebody's really like seeking their fulfillment. And and in a blissful way, somebody has some kind of a foot fetish here. And somebody's, somebody's actually really enjoying their sex life out there. Good for you, okay? You have threes across the board. Threes are pure energy of the Ascended Masters. Um, you know, this is really a beautiful energy here, I got to say. This is also Jupiter energy. Jupiter is uh, Sagittarius. And over here, somebody could be leaving. Um, maybe a relationship is breaking up, Virgo energy. The 19th could be of significance. That reduces to 10, something about October. Now let's get you some um, love oracles. Here we go. Love oracles for Cancer. Love oracles for Cancer. Cancer, it looks like a lot of you are having a really good sex life out there. I mean, good for you. <laughs> Show me. Please, cancer, cancer, cancer. Okay, cancer, we have <clears throat> miracles of blessings. Everything has its gift. The 13th could be of significance, so that reduces to four. Something could be significant about coming April. Show me. Cancer, cancer. Okay, cancer, here we go. You have love is all around you. There is love everywhere all the time. Simply acknowledge this as truth. The 16th could be of significance. Somebody could be 61. That reduces to 7. Something could be significant about the month of July. Or August. We have the 8th here. Love who you are. You are divine, delightful, and deserving of the wonderful things life has to offer. Okay, at the bottom of this deck, number 39. That uh, reduces to 12. So something could be significant about the 12th, the 3rd, March, or December. Be authentic. Be real and true to who you are and how you feel. Always and forever, right? Always and forever. Here we go. Show me. Show me. Here we go. Okay. We have a seven. Oh, Jesus Christ. Cancer. You got a seven of swords. First card out. So, what other sign got this? Somebody else got this seven of swords. First sign out. Listen, somebody's getting, trying to get away with some bullshit here. Something for Gazy, some kind of betrayal, some kind of negativity somewhere, somehow, all right? It's theft, it's dishonesty, it's uh, trickery, scheming, sneakiness, lying, whatever it is. Something's going on. The cheese does not smell too good in Denmark right now. Okay, now, you have Aries energy here for the Emperor. Um, 
The emperor is the best embodiment of all four kings. This is someone who's very stable and dependable and structured. This is someone who's very practical and protective, okay? Could be a father or a father figure, but it doesn't have to be. Aries, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Somebody can be on some kind of medication here. There could be something, you know, they, all right, so, you know, the emperor could also be a boss or the leader in some way. So, you could be in some kind of situation where it, some somebody who has some kind of high authority maybe is deceiving you in some way. Yeah, the fourth could be of significance, or again, April. This could be happening in April. It's, I feel like it's some kind of vicious shit. This is what I want to say to you, all right? What is at the foundation here? The six of wands in reverse. Some kind of lack of recognition, okay? Somebody was ignoring you, Cancer. There was some, oh, it's the six of wands in reverse. It's a failure to achieve something. It's a fall. Somebody might have had a fall from grace here. The six could be of significance, or again, June. Somebody could be 67 or 64 here, or 46 or 47. So, uh, you know, a six of ones in reverse. This is what we have here at the foundation of the situation. So maybe somebody gave up on something. There could have been some kind of retreat. Maybe, you know, like somebody backed off of the situation because they weren't being recognized. Like, just the hell with it, right? What's crowning cancer? Somebody could be on the internet doing something like, um, mm, show me. Please and thank you. Chatterbait? I'm hearing chatterbait. Okay. Somebody's on chatterbait. Could be on chatterbait showing all, all their goods over here. Somebody also likes to play chess. Chess. Let me see. All right. Now, you got a four of cups crowning you. Yeah, I don't blame you. You can be disgusted in a situation here with this four of cups. You could be in deep contemplation or feeling disconnected from the situation. There could have been... Up to three people, you know, it could have been more than one person here. This is like three people, okay? So maybe three friends, three siblings, something like this. Something's going on, okay? Seems like someone's being very selective too. So we might have a situation here where there's some kind of parent or parent figure that's um, playing favorites. So that's not nice. And maybe you're the one that wasn't recognized in this situation. So now you're disgusted with it. And I don't blame you. I would be too. You know, really. The fourth again, or April. Fours across the board are Archangel's pure frequency. So, you know, just make sure you're not... Um, if you're in any kind of contemplative state or you feel disconnected or indifferent from especially some kind of family here or friends or some kind of maybe work situation where you know there's some gazy shit going on, you just don't know what it is and you seem to be being ignored here or something like this, don't start picking up substances to, you know, eradicate the uncomfortable feelings. That's what I'm hearing. Now, you got a Knight of Wands here. Coming in on a shelf, though. So, you got Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For somebody who might be a little arrogant and impatient and frustrating to deal with, okay? Because also, too, they might have too much energy, be very rebellious, free-spirited, and, uh, you know, they just, this person is worried about their own... Like we all should be, but not at the expense of others. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying this person is doing their own thing, okay? And they, you can find that very frustrating. You know, this person could be a little selfish. I mean, it's the Knight of Wands. This person could have a very high sex drive. Somebody might be a little overweight over here. I'm still, okay. I'm seeing Catwoman and Batman and Catwoman. Somebody might have a big ego here. Show me. This emperor. Yeah, you have the Knight of Swords. Okay. So, you're looking at this energy here, this Knight of Wands on a shelf. Like, somebody here has got something to say. They're very direct. They're very straightforward. And they are very brave. This is the Knight of Swords. This is somebody who knows how to articulate themselves very well. And they are opinionated. But they are focused. And, you know, I mean, if this person has something to say, they're about to say it. Okay? And it will be the honest truth. Because the Knight of Swords will tell you the truth. This could be a very fast-talking person, and this could also be some kind of a lifestyle change, right? Like maybe where you're deciding, or somebody here, somebody could be changing their lifestyle, and this is how you're looking at it. You have respect for this person, though. This person might be starting some kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, stirring the pot? I'm hearing stirring the pot. Oh, God. What's in the actual environment? What's in the actual environment? The chariot in reverse. Okay, so first of all, right off the, right off the jump, 
Some of you might be having some car troubles or there might be some travel plans that are delayed. This is your card, Cancer, okay? So the seventh could be of significance or the month of July. This is about some kind of action or change. But in reverse, it's like giving up. It's like there is no action happening. Uh, there's a delay. There's obstacles. There's maybe a lack of direction. Maybe feeling powerless. There's no control over a situation. Something like this. Let me see. The seventh again. Sevens across the border to attract abundance. Let's see. What's the best advice for cancer? The best advice for you, cancer, is listen. Keep your head down, stay in your lane, and just keep working hard on whatever it is that you're doing. The Eight of Pentacles. Put effort. You know, I'm going to say, I really feel like I have to tell you to put most of the effort into yourself. Because it looks like whatever's going on over here, nobody's got your back. They're not even recognizing you. You are completely disgusted with the situation. Somebody's, you know, just running on ego here. Um... You know, and then we have this this energy here where somebody, you, you know, obviously very straightforward and direct, but, you know, somebody's not not in the game here, okay? They might even be, yeah, saying things. This person, this fast-talking person or this lifestyle change might be upsetting to other people. Oh, wow. Look what they're doing here. There's something, there's something going on, okay? There's some kind of gaze of shit. It's going to be different for everybody. In the meantime, Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles talks about if you have a skill or a craft or something like this, you know, you really work at it to become a master. It's mastering something. It's expertise. It's commitment, dedication, and focus, okay? It's enjoying your employment as well. So whatever you do, enjoy it, okay? So what is this uh, best outcome, the most likely outcome? Spirit just wants you to keep your head down and focus on whatever it is that's securing your financial future, your legacy, your resources in the future, right? Eight of Pentacles. You're two away from the ten. You're almost there. A complete financial independence. And then you don't need nobody, right? <laughs> what? Show me. Not that, you know, you know what I mean. Now, here we go. Page of Wands. Yeah, so listen. You could be getting some kind of message or some kind of communication. It could be from a younger fire sign or somebody that's firing their chart. It could be immature. It's the page, okay? If this is you, this is you just going out and enjoying shit, not worrying about repercussions and consequences and just, you know, having some fun in your life. Being a little extroverted and, and, you know, somebody might contact you, though. Oh, about some kind of emotional pain. Look at this. Three of swords. See what I'm saying? Did I tell you there was like three, maybe siblings, friends, uh, something here? Seven of swords could also be, you know, somebody cheating. Here you go. You got the seven right here, right? Now we got the three. So. See, whatever, whatever this emotional pain is, you're aware of it anyway. Like, this is not... I think that you have an awareness of it. Because you're already disgusted with a situation that involves this emotional pain because of this betrayal. Four and three is seven. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, it might confuse you and put you in a, in a place where you have to take a time out for a minute. There might be some legal ramifications or there might be some kind of conformity that somebody wants you to adhere to. The fifth could be of significance. Somebody could be 73 or 37 here. Again, the 10th. Somebody's going to maybe feel like their back is up against a wellness situation and they're just going to walk away from it. You have eight to cross the board now. Let's remove the negativity. Something's going to wrap up. Like you might quickly make an exit. You might make a quick decision, a quick decision, somebody to fuck off. Seriously. And go after your goals and just forget about it, right? Yeah, because, yeah, this is this has to do with people, places, and things from the past that are very toxic. But you are going to have your wishes come true because there's, there's the star card, Aquarius energy for hope for your future, gift from the divine, wishes, happiness, healing, healing, healing. All right, here we go. This is other uh, astrological signs than what I told you, right? You have Aries here a lot. And cancer as the most predominant cancer. Um, and also any moon phases that you should be aware of. So we have Capricorn. Last quarter moon in Capricorn. Leave the past behind. Yeah. And, and all this fugazi shit going on here, cancer. This betrayals. I don't care who it is, cancer. Family or not. Doesn't matter. Okay. Last quarter moon in Taurus. Be proud of yourself. Yeah, be proud of yourself. Family's usually the worst ones to betray you. Seriously. Yeah, especially if you got a family who's playing favorites and who's manipulating and who's running on ego and who's ignoring you and get this bullshit. Nobody needs it. Nobody needs it, Cancer. You're too good for that. Here we go. Okay, now here you go. 
You might hear from somebody you haven't heard from in a long time. New moon in Sagittarius. Focus on the positive. Try to anyway. You know, obviously you should always do that so that you attract positivity back. Full moon in Leo. Go wild. I mean, go buck wild. That's all right. Here you go, Cancer. Here is some um, hidden truths. Things that are on people's mind that nobody opens their mouth to say. I'm starting to understand our connection. Show me. Show me. Oops. I don't react when people mention your name or mention you, period. Show me. And lastly, I look I look for you everywhere. Somebody's got their eyes open. When somebody is grateful for the spiritual lesson, Cancer. Cancer, let's get you some letters. I am sending you health, wealth, love, abundance, and prosperity in every freaking form possible to infinity and beyond. Here we go. Now, you have V, A. Somebody could be a veteran. I'm hearing Virginia. Something about Virginia. RK. That's reminding me of RKO. Like the movies, maybe somebody's going to the movies. I'm hearing Mara, Mara, or Kara. Okay, here you go. M R R K V X A two eyes and a U. Thank you, Cancer. Always remember, leave with logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy, and trust in God. Karma is real. Until next time, love and light and laughter.